All right, so let's continue. We're going to extend our class here a little bit. I commented out the lowercase and also this quoted version. I just created another version here, the quick prompt box without those quotes. And we'll just continue. And I'm going to talk about concatenating strings and also working with String Builder, which is an interesting way to create our strings. Because we know that strings are immutable, which means that you can't change them. You're actually getting another copy of a string. But we'll go ahead and talk about that in a little bit. We're going to write to the console first. Create some space for ourselves. We're going to create a new line as well, a couple of times. And this is how we do that. We've already talked about this a little bit. We'll talk about it more. But this is going to allow us to add a new line character there to our console so we can make some room for ourselves. And it's just a way to process some text to give us some space in our console. All right, so we're going to actually we're going to add to what we have so far with our S string. So we have the quick prompt fox. We're just going to add some things. We can just do S is equal to S plus. And we'll add jumped over the lazy dog. And then we're going to do it a different way. You can do it as s equals s plus to concatenate or you can do it with the plus equal sign here which is a nice way to do it as well. Normally I add my spaces at the end of something if I have to move to another line and then continue without having those spaces. Just a habit. One way or the other you're going to do it and it just makes things easy to make sure you don't make mistakes. And we'll just output our S. We don't have to do anything else but that. Don't have, because this is actually outputting writing a line of strings. Write line is actually writing a string out so we have a string so we don't have to worry about processing that. And there you go. The quick round fox jumped over the lazy dog. There's another way that you can actually concatenate strings. Now if we go here and we just put S and then the dot, we're going to see all the different things we can do, all the methods we can do, and the properties if we need properties as well. But there's a different way that you can get even more functionality. Let's do this for example. We write out string like we do with int or anything else, any other of the value types that we have here. And then we can see with the dot notation here, we can see even more. Comparing, concatenating, copying, empty, all these different things we're going to be talking about within the string section. So joining as well. So we will concat, which is going to join the strings together. And then you can see that you can do different things here. You have overloaded constructors here. We have four strings that we could add to our list, just strings, variables, or text. Then we have three, two. We can also pass objects or an array of objects, as you see here. Or again, like we had with the strings, we can pass four as well as three and so forth. And you can also pass string arrays, an array of strings. If you have a lot of strings you need to concatenate, just pass an array of strings. If it has whatever amount of elements it has, you need to add them together. Well, you can do it that way. So we'll talk about arrays later. But for now, we're just going to create some variables here. And just give a space there so we don't overrun ourselves. We'll create four there. And then we'll just concatenate this. You can concatenate down to two. This is going to return a new string, and that's going to be placed in string. But we want to do it as string one. We don't want to overwrite what we have already. So we'll call it string one, a new one. 
and then we'll just output that. And see how that goes. There you go. We output it A, B, C, D. Concatenate it together. And there, the other one is there as well. With the spaces intact. So that's another way that we can actually concatenate our strings. Like I said, strings are immutable. And this means that we're going to get a new instance of a string object when we concatenate our strings together. The system.text.stringbuilder, this is the framework class that actually allows us to work with String Builder. This String Builder class is going to let us concatenate strings without actually having to create a new object each time that you want to modify that string. And this also gives more flexibility as well. You can concatenate and append and insert as well. So we'll take a look at that. But in order to do that, what we're going to do is actually we're going to be using system.text and you can see that we can get that to come up for us. And then I'm just going to paste some code in that I have in memory. This is going to create a string builder as we normally can see. SB equals new string builder and then the text that we want to put in there. When we want to insert something, you can just do SB dot and then you see a whole bunch of things you can work with. You can get the length like a property, the maximum capacity which is going to give you the maximum capacity that you can work with and you can remove from your string, you can replace your string and you can also append into other things as well. So we're going to just show you that you can insert and when you insert something you're inserting it how many characters from the left that you want to insert it. So if we insert it at zero you can see that we insert it in the beginning. The zero is hello, that's the zero part of the text and we insert those two characters right there. We'll go over a little bit and insert it at 2 and see that we're actually going to insert it after the 0 and the 1 and before the 2. So this gets inserted right in there. Really nice and really neat to be able to work like that.